yeah, stuff's going on, stuff's going well. Yoko is rapidly statting up, thanks to how close this season is. Uh, Liz is lizzing it. Still very good. Her control is really shite. remember it being that bad. Why is that control so bad all of a sudden? I'm sure she had more control than that. I have to look into that. I have to go back to some old saves. We'll see. Um... Because I feel like I would have her on... I do have her on control, so maybe it was always that way. Just part of me just feel wonders whether that massive machine system crash my game just did did something weird. Hmm. Uh, game volume is very low. The game volume is not very low. Game volume is exactly where the game volume always is. And you always say this, chat. Game volume is exactly where it always is. There's no louder or quieter than it normally is. The game is just very quiet because it's in ambient mode. It's as simple as that. And one day, chat, you will learn to trust me. But today is apparently not that day. There's one sponsor obligation thing that tanks the assigned driver's control. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, maybe it's that's your probably right. Yeah, that'll be it, won't it? Is it a sponsor weekend and she's doing... Um, yeah, you're probably right. Maybe that legitimately reflects because we're now into the race prep period. She's probably been tanked by sponsor stuff. And we've just never spotted that it does actually reflect it in the stats before. That would make sense. A very warm welcome to you all. It sure does feel good to be back. Bahrain might have a small land footprint, but it's showing its big spirit right now in the grandstands. Either way, it's time for another. No, that does sound reasonable. That does sound reasonable as an option. I will have a look at that after stream. I'm just more worried that my, the massive hard crash my system did has done something weird to the save. But thing is, I have a backup, and I think, well, I know you can change stats in the database editor, so if I go back to a hard backup and she's got a higher control element there, all I'll do is I'll actually just copy it over from that. I'll just have to download the database editor again and go into that. Um, Right. We are in Bahrain. Well, that's nice. Always nice to be in Bahrain. Um, it is not a sprint weekend. This is good. Always nice. We have parts, I believe. Stored on both. Yeah, all good. All good. All good. All good. All good. Ooh, we have some new rear wings. Tempted to move her up to a new rear wing. Should we move her up to the new rear wing? Let's move her up to a new rear wing. And maybe we give car one. 
Move her onto rear wing twos or rear wing threes. There you go. Let's do that. Uh, engines and things should be fine. Well, now this is now practice gearbox. Arguably now practice engine as well. But we might get one more race out of this. Mm, shall we? Declare it practice engine. Let's declare it practice engine. Um, we are going to want some laps in. Driver options. Good stuff. Car setup. Let's head on over to f1setup.it. We are in Bahrain. Where the Bahrain's at? Clear feedbacks. So we want to be racing, apparently, or starting or trying. 4.5, 11. 6.4, 3.35, and we want 4.5, 11, 6.4, 3.35, I think that's everything good to go. Let's do this. Let's do this, chat. Out you go. Out you go. Get some tactics on. Some tactics on. Don't be, don't be doing your, st your stream now, crash there, Liz. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look at the action. It's all at the final corner. Well, you can see the lockup. By that point, it was just too late. Get out of your system now, Liz. Get out your system now. Good evening, Canis Rufus. Welcome back to the stream. So we should be able to get at least two races in tonight. Depends on how busy they are. But we will see. We will see. Oh, we have a great satisfaction. Now, we do know that Kikuchi's a bit over-optimistic with what she feels is great. So let's let's hold our... Uh, 89? That's not bad. I'll give you that, Kikuchi. That's, that's, that's almost 90. That's almost 90. Okay, so that is an optimal, a good, a great, a good, and an optimal. Buy me a setup. According to that, we're going down to 7.3. We're going to try 3.2. And we're going to try 0, apparently. All right, get out until the end of practice, Kikuchi. Off you go, Liz. Yeet yourself into the pit there. Let's see how you're looking. 89 as well. 
so you are also a let's get this in Rimbarain. optimal a good a great a good an optimal which unsurprisingly 7.3 3.2 the zeros and out you go how close to the end of the season are we were only at the beginning of the season i think we're only about six races in maximum this might be the sixth race we are at the beginning of the season Hope you're all good this evening, chat. Hope life is treating you well, or as well as it can do. I did hug, have a nice snuggle with Napoleon on the bed earlier. 25 minutes of required cat snuggles, um, which is always good for your mental health. I highly recommend it. Is he better? Um, he's still not hundred percent right. I think he's he's better. Um, he had a bit of a tummy bug, we reckon. I think he's better, but he's now in that thing that cats do when they've been sick for a while, which is then then just innately suspicious of like food and everything else for a bit. So like he isn't he isn't eating his all of his dinner yet again. So I think he's just still got like oh no I was ill. Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure yet. You know, so I, th I think he's doing that stage of of catting. Um, but he's oh, definitely sleeping well. I'll oh, fuck off. Now here we are at the final corner. Now there's an inviting opportunity there, and the impact on the car. It's quite clear. Now I imagine their confidence will have taken. Can you not? And look at the team there. They... We'll have to have a look on that, see if we can recover. Otherwise, that's going to have to be a... Uh... That's gonna I'm not emergency manufacturing a chassis. Started playing Honkai Star Route at 9 p.m. last night, checked the clock again and it was 2 a.m. Good game, innit? I've been no one believes me on this. I keep saying it. I honestly think it's the best JRPG on the market at the moment, and it's entirely free. Yes, you can pay money to get bonuses and advance and all of that, but you absolutely do not need to. I go everyone looks like children. And I don't not everyone looks like children. There are there are some very young characters in it. Um it's just your standard anime stuff. It's it's it's, it's a weeb game. It has weeb visuals. Right, this is gonna come down to whether we've got the parts. Yeah, we do. We do. We're still running on chassis. Mm, okay. Okay, you get a new chassis. Mm. 
You are going on a suspension one for that, though. Uh, right, car setup. Uh, so, Yoko, you are on a great, a good, a great, a good, and an optimal. That means we should be sending you down to 5.5, 3.5. Five. Seven. Now this should be a good setup, so we're going to give her enough laps to do the whole practice. And I suspect yours is going to be the same, but let's double check. Great, good, great, good, optimal. Five, five. 3.5, 0 0.7, and do a whole bunch of laps, go. Yeah, it's, it's a brilliant game, it's, it, it's essentially a JLPG deck builder. And the writing in it is phenomenal. I'll probably play some tonight after this, actually. But yeah, I totally understand, like, because the vigils switch you off a bit. It totally makes sense. I mean, ultimately, that's one of the reasons, you know, there's, there's no hiding the fact that one of the reasons they make it weeby is because, obviously, what they're also doing is they want people pulling, as in, like, spending money to try and get the, invert, in inverted commas, cute adults. Um, so, yeah. You know, it, it is a it, it has its fair share of boob cam. One thing I do find quite amusing though is, is you'll uh, is you'll you'll find dudes with um with uh, boob windows, which I'm like at least at least they're an equal opportunity boob window game. Um, but yeah. Uh, additionally, I want to say the characters are just characters, not tragic people that we're told are better off dead. Yeah, no, that's always it. Boo windows on guys are fun because they highlight how silly they are. Yeah, exactly. Like that's why I, I I always respect any game that has blokes with boob windows because it just absolutely really rams home how ridiculous they are. <laughs> Right, well, the good news is we've got optimal setups here, so by the end of this practice, they should both be good to drive. So we'll send them out P3 for a token lap, but pull them in. I'm legit surprised on Blue Sky about how many people have never thought about the fact that London is full of unexploded bombs. Not begrudging the game, um, style, I love anime nonsense, but for a game I want to immerse myself in it somehow, it just doesn't track for me. Oh yeah, I think it's absolutely fair, no, totally get it. There's, there's a load of games that I just cannot play because something about them 
whether it's visual style, sometimes it can just be character voices. Just means I, I can't I can't immerse. And if I can't immerse, if it's a game that's going to be suck, meant to suck up hundreds of hours, then why am I going to play? You know, so no, to totally fair. Yeah, so her gearbox is starting to go, but that's fine because it's a practice gearbox now anyway. I think with her control this low, we might actually race her on this engine. This one might just be about getting some points on the board. On some softs. Ping them out for a token lap. Off you go, ladies. Get yourselves back in. Uh, my dream game would be an RPG where I don't have to, uh, have to fight and it's beautiful and rich and well narrated, immersive, and uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'll just stick with books. Um, yeah, it's, it's a tricky one. I mean, I must admit, as I've got older, so there's a whole bunch of games that, so myself and my wife, um, like we're really into the, the, the Trails series of games, The Legend of Heroes. Um, we've kind of really gotten into them, and they're great. I, I think one of the greatest JRPG series of all time. Again, turn based. And one of the reasons I like turn based, as in like JRPG style turn based, is I'm just too old to be faffing around with action combo buttons and all of that kind of thing. I just don't have the reaction times or motivations to just do that anymore or learn combos. I just want to go, oh, I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this spell with this thing and I'm going to combine them in this way. Um, and um, one of the things we'll do on the Legend of Heroes series is we'll play it, we play a lot, and we do it with other games these days, is to play them a lot more like if I'm just there and I want to get involved in the story, I'm going to play it on easy mode. Like, yeah, I want to, don't mind fighting the battles, yeah, I'd like the little bit of extra brain activity of working out what to level the characters and how to, but I... I want I want to be there for the story, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I, if you turn around to twenty three year old me and said one day you will play games on easy mode, I would have uh, laughed at you. But I'm kind of like a lot of the time now. Certainly for RPGs, I'll just slam them down onto easy mode. Definitely prefer turn-based when replaying 90s and 2000s JRPGs rather than new because I want want the turn-based. Yeah, like I I really lament the death of um like just action RPGs just everywhere, and I'm just like and fucking the easiest way to get me to not play a game is call it, is to say this is a Souls like, and I'm like I have zero desire to spend the next 50 minutes of my life trying to get past the exact same boss. Like no. I just don't want to. Um, I want to decide what to do and who to talk to him for what decision tree is. I, I walk along. I mean, if you, I assume you've played it, but um, oh, what game am I thinking of? What game am I thinking of? There's a couple of really good narrative games I've played lately. Over the last few years, 
Um, I mean, Disco Elysium is is phenomenal as a sort of narrative RPG. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I was at a party on Saturday with a mate and his kid. Oh, my, my mate and his kids were there, and I was helping one of them install a new graphics card in his computer. And all they were talking about is, oh, why didn't you play Fortnite with us? And I was like, no chance, kids. I am not playing Fortnite. Good evening, Job Bree. Hope you're good. Right, Q1. We have good setups. We do need to change out your gearbox. Now, are we changing your gearbox? Oh, we accidentally sent her out on her um, race gearbox. That is annoying. Not the end of the world, but annoying. Uh, do we swap the engines over yet? I think 51 we do swap the engine. Let's do it. Nothing turns me off a game faster than Battle Royal, so I was like, hey, look, totally fine with other people enjoying them, just absolutely not my jam. Would have been my jam back when I was mid 20s, like, or younger. Don't get me wrong. All over that shit. Like,. I used to sit there like I completed Ninja Gaiden on Xbox on the hardest difficulty. It's just not my jam when I'm a 40, 43 year old man. Oh, clean run. Not expecting good qualifying times here, to be honest. But we'll see. I don't know, it might be alright here. Should get through P1 at least. Or Q1 at least. Now, I would happily write a JRPG. Do all the dialogue and all that shit. Just wouldn't want to program it. Don't have the time. Well, I do not have the time. Q2. We yellow on the used. See if they can get through. Days tend to go for city builders or 4X. Well, I mean, you may have noticed I play an awful lot of 4X. And then I've got Football Manager for my off stream chill zone. Currently uh, managing Wolfsburg in that. Oh, pretty clear run. Oh, and she caught him on a straight. That's good. That's not a great time, though. Might be enough to get her through. Maybe. Tricky to judge. Let's send Kikuchi out on fresh tyres. How did you go no faster on fresh tyres? The hell, woman? I'm 
What's that about? Probably one second slower off the pace on the same set on a fresh set of socks. Didn't notice her getting caught in traffic. Maybe she did. Did she get caught in traffic? Didn't see her get caught in traffic. That's a decent time that. That's probably second row. One thing pointed out to me a while back is calling them Japanese role-play games is a bit discriminatory and it implies all RPGs from Japan are the same style of JRPG and only comes from Japan. Um, I mean, I'm not overly convinced by that argument to be honest i had it made at me as well someone like arsley made it to me on on um mastodon a while back when i just described it as a as and i described tonkai star rail as a jrpg and they well actually me with with it being a chinese game and i'm like i know it's a fucking chinese game but the style is a jbop jrpg um so yeah i'm not I'm not overly convinced. You know, if, if sufficient amount of kids tell me I'm wrong, I will change it, but change what I call it, but. Tension can They're like, well, actually, uh, Tonkai is a CRPG. And I'm like, well, I'm like, John, you're just committing the exact same fucking sin you've just accused me of. Right? Like, what's... What now? We're just labelling RPGs by the nation that the company that made them is incorporated in. Yeah, Japan gets credit for Janet developing the style. That's, that's the way I look at it. Um... Like, no one says, no one describes a thing as, as a, you know, like, we have open world games with all of that. It's like, yeah. JRPG is a style. Like, a, ga a game is not a JRPG just because it comes from Japan. There are plenty of Japanese games or Japanese RPGs that are not JRPGs. Uh, right, what are we doing? Jesus, can we really do... Wow. Can we get around on a one-stop with mediums? I feel like we might, you know. I mean, yeah. We're in Bahrain, aren't we? Anyone know what the safety car chances in Bahrain? Historic safety car chance is apparently 0%. I find that hard to believe. Go for the one stop. Oh, I, I do get the... I do, I do get the, 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 the argument. I'm not, I'm not saying the argument's not entirely without merit. I just think it's... It's, it's also not entirely with merit. Uh... 
Um, yeah, do we one stop this? Or do we just absolutely rinse the tires and go for a two stop? Gamble on there being a safety car at least once. There's been a there's been at least one safety car in every single race we've done so far. Like theoretically that is faster anyway. We could do this. We could burn the crap out of the mediums. So we'll be running on the mediums when we're light on fuel. Yeah, I think we do this, you know. And we'll assume we're ragging those tyres, so need to bring that forward a bit. Whereas for Kikuchi, we'll probably just burn at the pace. We just want her finishing at this point. Ideally in the points. We're too light on the fuel. Um, you can start strong. We'll let Kikuchi pace highly. Here in Sakir, the floodlights are on, and it's nearly time for 57. Here we go with the Bahrain Grand It's lights out, and away we go. Go on, Liz. Guessing everyone else started on softs. Oh, no, 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 a bit of a mix. Bit of a mix. Liz takes him up to corner one. You go, girl. You go, girl. Drop her back to aggressive. I think it's the longer we've forced other drivers to ruin their sets of softs while they're stuck behind us on mediums, even better. Time differentials this year are just insane. So Sonoda should be setting fastest laps because he's on softs. I assume his tyres are starting to burn up a bit.
Right, what's the total interval over that whole field? There is only 10 seconds covering the entire field. Like, this whole race is just going to be a DRS train. This is where it gets crazy because DRS is kicking in. So theoretically, Sonoda should be able to pull away now. Let's run attack for a while. Because the longer we keep Sonoda behind us, the better. And if we can drop um, Dragovich, or if we can get him to drop Dragovich, then essentially we can always DRS each other all the way through. Go on, Kikuchi. Let's have a look as we go into the 13th corner. The opportunity begging to be taken. That puts them in 13th place now. Good for you. Ah, practicing. Yeah, look, you still couldn't take us. Thing is, this is ruining one of his sets of softs. I mean, Steam labels on games are just trash anyway. Because, like you say, people just tag it as anything to try and get sales. So long as we keep holding them out of DRS range, we're good here. I'd just imagine Sonoda gets past now. Nope. Thing is, once his tyres hit 70... He's not going to have the ability to, at that point, the tyre advantage plays in our favour. He really needs to get past in the next couple of laps. You going to do it here? You might do it here. She might take him on the inside, though. Yeah, she held it. She held it. Oh, no, he might get her on this corner. When's the next corner? Going to turn on the next corner. Which way does it go? Oh, she holds it. That's going to hurt. Well fought, Liz. He is going to be super salty if she holds him off on this one as well. Yeah, he's not passing here.
Got down to aggressive. I know I'm microing this, but it's that kind of season. So this is what happened. Now the Alpha Towery involved here. Nice little undertake from Kikuchi. That's good. Got to get her here. That's his move. Tried the inside. No, didn't get the inside. Ah, oh, sucks to be you, Sonoda. Paying people to stream your game can be a decent advertising strategy. You can go wrong if it's clear they're faking it. The game is boring or buggy. Yeah, I mean. Like if you're streaming, if you're being paid to stream a game, you don't you don't talk it down, but you know because you tell people I'm being paid to stream this game, but um, yeah, it can be really obvious if a game isn't ready. Like I I personally think it's a very bad strategy generally, if you're a developer to get a streamer to stream your early access game. I think she's got the spoons in this now that if we drop it down to that, she'll be fine. Because now he's down to 71% tie, he's just not going to have the grip. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. He'll get her this time. He should get her this time. That's fine. We'll DRS him. We'll get it back. That's not a problem. Oh, who crashed? Who crashed? There's a yellow flag now. Who's out? Oh no, Soph, what did you do? Oh no. And for the crew watching on in the garage, that really must have been a How many laps are we in? Not enough to do to, to pit early. Not enough to pit early. They're both out. Jesus, didn't look that bad. And have to notice you're ragging the tyres. Yeah, but I can rag the tyres, that's the thing. We'll just coast along behind him here. Harvest. Harvest. If anything, this hurts him more than it hurts us. Because, like, does he pit now? Realistically, he should pit onto his mediums. Like, if we were running that car and we were on those softs, I'd be pulling in for mediums. I remember Paradox had the 30s gangster game. Right? Yeah, see, that was an odd one. Because I played that PDX con. And that was uh, John Romero's game. And it's... The mechanics were solid. It just... It just lacked something that keeps you sticky to it. So yeah, it wasn't bad, it was just average.
He really should have pitted. See, there's lots of games I'll watch people play now that I wouldn't, I would normally previously have played myself. So, for example, um, what's that one at the moment? The the Banishers. Like I've been really watching, enjoying watching FG playing that. But I had to make a conscious decision that if I was going to watch her play it, I wasn't going to play it myself, because I'm going to see all the story beats, all the plot. She's, I know the type of player she is. She will mostly make the kind of narrative decisions that I would make. So I'm going to feel immersed while watching it. Um, and thus I'm going to see all the options I would be picking. I'll just save to cut ending. Go back onto the attack. Uh, you can go for deploy, deploy, attack. Let's give it a go. Now we should be able to pull away here. Because his tyres are shanked. Jesus, Kikuchi's up to 10. Oh, we did have the two go out and they were ahead of her, weren't they? That'll be why. Like, we might legit be able to drop him here. No, no, he caught up. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get it back. Right then, we can take a look now. Now we're approaching turn two. They decided Empire of Sin, that was the one. Who on this? We've got a new race. Stay on aggressive. I mean, it's possible everyone else is going for a one-stop to our two-stop, but I just think the rate he's burning those tyres, I'd be very surprised. Like, he's having to rag those tyres to get in front of us. And at this point, he just loses it first time we hit a um, DRS point. Good evening, Miss Frosty. Haven't seen you for a while. Hope you're well. Hope things are good down the Stevenage. We might drop him here. Yeah, see, there, there, he's had to pit. Now, we can pit now. And when we come out, we're on softs. But I wonder whether he's doing a one-stop. Like, if you were on softs and pitting now, would you make it all the way on mediums? I mean, yes, but it's tight. It's very tight. But it wouldn't surprise me if they are going one stop. Okay, we are now in pitting range for our double softs. So... Attack. Do two laps and attack.
Right now, pit. Come out on softs. Let's drop Kikuchi down to that so that she can make her pit point. We can bring her in, actually. She would make it. We'll do her one more lap because obviously she's close to Liz. But now we will pull her, pull her in. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Liz out in seventh, that's perfect. What's Sonoda on? No, Sonoda's the same as us. Oof, Sonoda's the same as us. He's got to finish on mediums. Dragovic is on softs and pit the same time as us. So everyone's on a two stop. This is promising. I have a good feeling about this if we don't crash. So let's take a look at the replay. Here we are then at the eleventh corner. This is just like see your little red car, get out of the way. Take your little pony and go home. Now we just need her to close. Don't, Liz. God damn it, Liz. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that, Liz. Swear to God. Right, let's drop her to standard. Oh, that's pushed her back. Can afford to push her a bit. You'll get it back, Liz, don't worry. You'll get it back. Oh, fuck off, game. Oh dear, a crash. There's been a crash. Now we can see what happened. Right, so this was the fourth corner. Cutting it so close. Give over. Yeah, the cars make contact. And there'll be more than one unhappy team after that. Right, front wing damage. We go mediums, we make the end of the race. Gotta do it. That's my fault. I jinxed the fucking thing. Right, we have tire range for the end of the race. We just want points now. Oh, fuck off! You just decided it's gonna fuck all of my drivers today. I have to do the same to her now. Is it because you said I had a good feeling? Quite possibly.
It's annoying because most people be coming out on softs. So we'll probably be lucky to get top 10 now. We'll see. Unless we get lucky with some DRS, but... The ideal is finishing above Dragovich, but we're not going to. Because he's going to be on softs. Yeah. And we're on 69 mediums. I'd say top 10. Get top 10, I'll take it. Can't really expect anything else at this point. The game screwed us. On the plus side, we didn't have to run lean at any point, so... Okay, I probably could push. Tires are under temperature. No, we're not making a dent by doing it. Lawson's going to pass us. No. We'll save the tyre, see if we can hold off Lawson. Yeah, we're going to hold off Lawson, it's fine. Just get back to make sure we don't run out of fuel. We have never run out of fuel. Never once run out of fuel on stream. Never happened. Well, that's annoying. But at least we're only one place behind Dragovic. And given we had a crash, right, I'll take fourth. Remember one time I was playing Motorsport Manager, I got the ultim ultimatum, one car must finish P8 or you're fired. Didn't really care, I wanted to move to a different team, but I decided to give it a go anyway. Pit crew botched both cars pit stops and best car finished P9. Yeah, like that, when that happens, the pit crew want you out. You have not been your, buying your share of beers for the pit crew. That is what that is. So we cling, cling to the top of driver rankings, but Yuki flies up the table into second. We are still... That did us a favour, actually. Because that didn't meant Merck didn't pick up a lot of points. Well, disappointing. But not the end of the world. Yeah, there you go. Who was it that said it? Because you absolutely called it. It reflects it in the visual stats. I quite like that then. You do get to know what your driver stats are going into the race. 
Jesus, it shows how much it shanks her control. When she's on a um, sponsor event then. Because it was 63, wasn't it? And not like 30 points off of her control. That's insane. Uh, how many original drivers are left on the grid? That's a good question. Shall we have a look? Yuki's won. Liam doesn't start on the grid, does he? So Piastri, it's two. Does Logan Sargent start on the grid? He does, doesn't he? It's three. Mick's still banging around, that's four. Four? Wait, are we talking about the pre-race detail thing? Yeah, it, it showed her the control of 63. Four, maybe? Four of the original drivers still around? Jesus, okay. What do we need? Oh, well, you're getting a rear wing three, because we've had to worry about some parts there. Uh, you get a new underfloor. new suspension okay we need to do some manufacturing then how are we looking on parts development oh we've got another underfloor coming in three days so we will make new underfloors chassis fours are in seven days suspension fours are in ten days what we got in the warehouse yeah, we've got back up to get through 10 days on that. I could jump her up on a chassis. No, let's leave her on chassis one. We'll go straight, straight to chassis four. Gals are great drivers in this game. Um, well, the game's pretty. Once you get regens, it's 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 anyone's best bet. We've been incredibly lucky. Well, not lucky, but obviously we've had Liz for a while, and Liz is good. the The trick is watching for the drivers that have high dev and knowing when to get them into cars. So, Carol Crossland here has still got high dev rate, so she should pick up fine. Um, Liz has been our superstar. I mean, she's 25 years old. She's still got high development. Look at those stats. Frankly, the only bad stuff she's got is adaptability and overtaking. Like, she's 87 already. She is going to be 90. By the time she finishes, if we went all the way through with it, she'd be like 94. Easy. Easy. I can get Wims for one four or five season Wims. Uh, well, basically, don't forget we are on the we are in the year twenty thirty four. We have played this game a lot, but yeah, we did previously anyway take the single female driver in the game at game start, the single real one, um, Sophie Flush. We took her at McLaren to a World Drivers Championship. Her current stats are where is she? So she's an 87. Like, she'll peak at 88 tops because she's starting to come to the end of her career. She's 33, so she probably won't even go any higher than this. But, yeah, I mean, we won the World Championship with her. I was sure you can only get three to four. No, no, no. It's the So the game, every end of every year, the regen chance is entirely random. Like, it is completely random. Um, if you look at 2034, where we are in this save... There's actually one, two, three, 
Um, and then obviously we've got Yoko in there as well. Four, there's female, four female drivers on the grid. Now, granted, they're drivers we've helped bring through. But there's also, if you looked at the reserve drivers for all of the teams, um, which I can't easily do, but there's a whole bunch of female reserve drivers out there as well now. It just takes time for people to come through. I have put this save file up on our Discord. So if you do want to just race, like, sl start slightly later and have some female drivers you can pick up and do well with, um, if you go exclamation mark Discord and go into the F1 stream, if the F1 campaign channel, scroll up. Am I even have pinned it? Did I not pin it? If I haven't pinned it, I'll pin it. I'll find it and pin it. Um, but I've, get, I've put saves up that you can just start from my saves at the end of a season. I think it was the end of the 2032 season, I think. So that you can actually just, like, treat it. And you can move as my character to any team you want to, because you have the rep for it. Um, which means you can then um, just start later on and really enjoy it. I genuinely think the rip the rate is 50-50. I think they do a 50-50 after 50-50 chance of regens um being female. I think they don't I don't think they bias at all. I just gotta find where I posted the save and I'll pin it. Yeah, here you go. Save files for fun challenges. Pin. Where's the pin? Yeah, so there's two saves there. One is the end of the 2030 season at McLaren. So a huge parts reset is about to happen, but we've researched well and you'll have the best car on the grid by a mile. Lando's contract is about to expire and Sophie Flourish in car two is now capable of winning championship. Choose your actions wisely. The second save is the end of the 2032 season. So you have Liggs Richter, who you've just seen in our car here. She's in seat two behind Joe at um, Alpha Tauri. Um, but you could like basically go and do a different team. If you're doing that save, the second save, I recommend doing Ferrari and hiring Liz as your first move. I was thinking the driver's been fixed, so no random. No, no, no. A proper random regens. I have different drivers on different things. Uh, Got to go for dinner. Uh, well, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your evening. Um, and hopefully see you next week. So yeah, enjoy dinner. Uh, right, so do we need to do parts manufacture? How are we looking in warehouse terms? So, yes, installed, but we know we've got new chassis design coming off. Do need some more front wings because we did just knock a few down. And we're not doing any more design after this, are we? No. We're now on to research. So... Rear wings, we're going to need at least two more of them. Might as well start. Side pods, we've got new stuff coming out. Underfloor, we've got new stuff coming out. Suspension, we've got new stuff coming out. Oh, we haven't got new side pods coming out. We are on final side pods. Oh, but we're building side pods already. Okay, fine. So we throw out some wings and then we want to be building new parts. That is fine. I think it's an open adventure and they have a biological advantage in driving still. Uh, they don't really have a biological advantage. What they do is they have a societal advantage. Um, and that is very much about, yeah, like, you know, parents paying for girls to go karting, for doing all that kind of stuff. Um, like, there are differences, but they're not differences that should impede car design. Um, and if you think about it, this is a thing that's always been the case in F1. 
So you look at like drivers like Mansell who've really struggled in cars that they really found tight cockpits to get into. Um, it, it's like anything you design the car around the driver to a certain extent, as much as you as much as you or you hire a driver for that fits the car. So it's yeah, that's all it is. There is no intrinsic difference in it. It's just all how we bring people up. Now we do have new underfloors. So we are moving on to research now. Now, when is our next? So we have 32 days until our next ATR. How much, how many projects are we going to get in in that time? One, two, three, four. We're going to get four in at least. So that brings us down to what? 2.3 divided by 4 is sort of 5 and a bit. Um, what's getting hit next? 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 Let's let's see. What what are we getting hit on on rear wings? Oh yeah, no, Jesus, yeah. No, rear wing is getting a big hit next year. On the old medium and lows. Twenty-seven. It's close enough to eight. No, close enough to six, isn't it? No, no, I'm doing this right. Yeah, it's eight. So not that fast about high speed. Not that fast about DRS. Deltas. What I really care about is medium and lows. So we'll do that. Do it in 33 days. That puts it out just after the next ATR and the next testing period. So that's fine. And that was underfloors, wasn't it? Yeah. So give me four of them because we're going to need them. How are our facilities looking? All good. Good. All good. Race prep, performance targets. Don't want to do a fast lap guarantee. We will guarantee we'll get through to them. Apparently we've got qualifying sixth, maybe. Might do. It's possible. It's possible, chat. It's not guaranteed, but it is possible. close here with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Reprofiled in 2021. Look, if you want reaction times, you just put cats in. Like, if if you want, re if reaction times are your biggest driver, then you want like, let, let cats drive Formula 1 cars. Like, tell me people wouldn't watch more F1 if the cars were driven by cats. Like, think how fun that would be. Uh, right, where are we? Abu Dhabi. Jesus, okay. 
Uh, in racing, you can see that older drivers with slower reaction times can still be competitive in GT racing and so on. I think that's one reason why I'll be really interested to see Lewis Hamilton at Ferrari next year, because I do think Ferrari are on a good curve with their car. And, you know, it's obviously, you know, Red Bull are going to Red Bull, but I will be very interested to see how Hamilton does. Right, we want to be on 5, 12, 5, 3, 7, 3.3, 9, 5. Sort car parts to the practice engine. ERS gearbox onto the practice gearbox. Kikuchi is your engine. Is your ERS to the other gearbox? Save that. Uh, she needs setup, doesn't she? I almost completely forgot to do her setup there. 3.7, Save. Go. Oh. Cats with their 40 millisecond reaction time as opposed to humans 200 millisecond reaction times. Exactly. Like, if you can, the first person who manages to train a cat to drive an F1 car, they're just going to win everything. I uh, also wanted men because misogynistic men and scrap the team of women that were performing better in the testing. For Aunt NASA, yeah, and do you know who one of the biggest, guiltiest candidates in that was? Was Chuck Yeager. Um, did the same to the black um, pilots. Like, brilliant pilot and really became a much better human being later in life. But young Chuck Yeager was an absolute shithead. And was personally responsible for starting the revolts that got a whole bunch of black astronauts and women astronauts kicked out of the program. Uh, as long as you can keep the cat interested. Well, it, that, that's part of the training challenge. Now, I'm not saying it's not high risk, high reward. Very clearly is. Like, old Chuck Yeager was a really good guy. Young Chuck Yeager was a shithead and a half. And one of the few things I didn't like about him was he'd never really admitted that old in, uh, in later life. Like he clearly knew it, but he never admitted it. Did set tactics, didn't I? Let's see how well set up we are. Fuck off, game. I am not taking chassis damage. What is it with you today, game? Fuck off. I want one clean race today, game. I don't think that's too much to ask. Just like having a clean race on stream. We dealt with a lot of hardship in the last one and we accepted it.
You know, I accept the decision of the F1 gods. Fuck off. Give me some rankings, people. I remember thinking that Vettel would do better than Hamilton in a couple of seasons when Ferrari had a competitive car because Vettel was two years younger. Clearly Hamilton has superior mental toughness and probably your spirit as well. 100%. Like, the dude's the best driver of his generation. There is zero doubt about that. Is he most interesting driver of his generation? Probably not, but... Right, that is a good... So let's get her in and update that setup. Let's sort this setup. Rope trick! Thank Hope you for gifting us up. Very nice to of you. PS they have given 35 gift subs in the channel. Right, Kikuchi is on. I can pick the right track for her. She is on. Great, a good, an optimal, good. Ropacha gifted 12 months of tier 1 to Kings and Skorok. They've gifted 47 months in the channel. set this up I will acknowledge those in a minute I just ADHD I have to focus if I don't do this now I will forget like the fact I just met her missed her pit just set these up set these up set these up stay focused stay focused Garius Great, great, optimal, good, great. That's a four. A twelve point five. Four point six. Three point three five. We leave on nine point five. Some run laps. Did I do Kikuchi's laps? I don't think I did Kikuchi's laps. didn't do that go go rope trick thank you very much for gifting 12 months tier one sub to kings right that is incredibly generous of you thank you so much enjoy your subscription kings rope enjoy your emotes thing to remember when analysing the performance of people like racing drivers and astronauts is that they are not representative samples of a population. They're heavily curated samples and thus normal statistical measures don't work. They're also self-selecting and exclusionary in many ways. You can't say that one gender has an advantage over another. Too many assumptions and societal biases baked into who gets positions. Absolutely true. That is the thing. It's part of the thing that like humans do of just trying to treat everything like it's a game of top trumps it's like when you see in warfare like people going well i think you will find a king tiger will always be to sherman it's like no it fucking won't like tank battles are very rarely this tank is meeting this other tank head on 
there's no other interfering factors, everything is equal, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's not a video game, that's not how it works. If, you're going, if you know there's a King Tiger in the area, you're not taking one Sherman to fight it, you're taking six Shermans, because you can afford to make six Shermans for every one freaking Tiger tank that's rolling out against you. Like, life is not top trumps. EAF Limpan, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we've got plenty of life in the tyres. I'll make it to end of session, that's fine. Right, she's on a great, so that might be good enough, but we'll see. Come on, get the feedback in. Don't hit me with a four. Yeah, all right, so good, but she hit me with a five, so that's fine. Uh, which rating is the drivers? I'll show you in detail after this race, but I uh, Liz is an 87. And Kikuchi we brought in this season. We kind of promoted her a bit early. We did have another driver in that slot, but I wanted to get her into a race seat. She is a 76. So they're both decent. Liz is very good. Like Liz is is she's 25 with high dev. They've both got high dev. She will easily like by the time she hits 29, she's gonna be like a 93, 94. Easy. Right, that's end of first practice, but that's fine because we need to do car changes. So who got what? It's time to determine... Oh god, is this fucking sprints? Oh, it's sprints. Damn it, chat. Well, Kikuchi got a good setup. Let's revert Liz to highest. Uh, you get on your good engine. Get on your good gearbox. I mean, we can get one more race out of that for Kikuchi. We'll put her onto that gearbox, though. I don't know, do we want to? We are trying to win the constructors here. No, let's give her a good engine. No, let's give her this because she's still back on parts. Oh, I'm torn. What do we do, chat? No, fuck it. She gets the new engine. She gets the new engine. Okay, ladies, let's do this. Let's do this, ladies. By the way, EFC, EAFC Limpan, if you want to do something like this and start in either the 2030 season or the 2032 season, you will find the save files for this save as pinned files on my Discord, which is exclamation mark Discord, in the F1 campaigns folder. So if, you're, if you do play the game and want an interesting challenge, you can start in 2030 with Sophia Flersch good enough to win a championship at McLaren. Or you can start in 2032 with Liz coming through as an up-and-coming superstar. That is a bad time. Shit. Oh, don't make me send you out again. We're going to have to send her out again. That's annoying. That's a set of tyres gone. She must have hit traffic. That's not much better, but it should be enough. Oh, 
Should be enough, I think. Yeah, it should be fun. She only needs one of those lower drive. Yeah, there you go. She's fine. She's through. Trash times, though. Damn it, Liz. Ugh, got a starter on a proper setup now. Whereas Kikuchi we can run on used. Annoying chat, annoying. Oh, we're not going to get a clean run here. Everyone's going to come out at exactly the wrong time. We might be all right. Yeah, we might be all right. I mean, that'll put Liz through. Don't think it'll put Kikuchi through, but it'll put Liz through. It's not a bad time from Kikuchi, but... Don't think it'll get her through. I'm not burning another set of soft, so... Like those Williams will go faster than that. Oh, Sergeant didn't. They didn't. This will be close. I don't think she'll get through, but she cut it. She got it closer than I expected. Yeah, just out. Oh well. That's not bad. Unlucky, Yoko. Your grid tenth because Soph's still carrying that penalty from the last race. Right, what are we doing here? We want at least two sets off for the race. I think we can burn a set of softs. Go on, Liz. Top four, please. Decent time. We'll send her out again because we can. There's legit no harm in it. Worst case, we fuck with some other drivers. She's going to get a really clean run. Yeah, no faster, but... That's a potential pole. That's a pole. That's a pole. No one's going faster than that. Nice, good work, Liz. Very nice. Why have you locked me into the shitty setup? It's not the setup I wanted, it's not the setup I picked in qualifying. Does piss me off no end up. Right, she might as well rag. Th oh no, because we're on race parts, aren't we? I don't want to rag that ERS.
Yeah, just just go out and come back in again. Both of you. Yeet yourselves back into the garage, please, ladies. Yeet, yeet. Contractual minimum for the sponsors and done, exactly. <laughs> like you get a lap. I mean, technically, you don't even get a lap. We didn't even set a time. And here we've got a yellow flag. But yeah, if you're sponsoring us, you know you, you ain't getting a lot of coverage in practice. Right, I'm going to go get a wine refill back in a second, chat. I do honestly think that, like in get in this in this in this universe, everyone is totally used to me drinking like just glasses of rosé on the on the fucking pit wall. Uh, I guess it's better than our car will be so far out ahead in P1. The only camera time you'll get is when we cross the finish line. Yeah, welcome to the world of sponsoring Red Bull. Don't forget, people, by the way, that if you don't follow me on Blue Sky, I'm Garius on Blue Sky. You also find me at, uh, at Garius at mastodon.me.uk. A uh, little mini thread up today on Blue Sky about um, unexploded ordnance in London and fun about it, which is quite cool. Right, well, we're going with this. Scrapes into the AT. We could have left her out for a few laps, but it's fine. Well, it's a different format this week. I can sprints. I'd rather go mediums and push them. It's probably the wrong choice, but. Yolo. You go down a lap on fuel. 19 laps. Yeah. What's the weight difference? Quite substantial. 
YOLO. I think Yoko, we just run clean. We just want a finishing. It's time for the sprint here in Abu Dhabi. And it's lights out, and away we go. Take some battle assist. Some battle assist. Everyone else is. Whoa! <laughs> share going on the old hards. He must have ruined some tyres in our practice. Yeah, we may have fucked up here, but we'll see. It's going to come down to if we can keep people behind us. I think we'll be starting to low down the grid chat. Everyone else is gambling on softs. I mean, DRS will help us now. Let's deploy. Okay, we might get away with this, you know. I mean, yeah, they will fall away at the end of the sprint, and we haven't dropped down as far as I was expecting us to drop. The main issue is we're going to have to run light at some point. I might run light now. Because we'll do the DRS shuffle with him. I'll tell you what, we might have got the strategy right on this, you know. Let's drop Kakushi back down to standard tyres. Two we can make up. I think we got this right. I think we got this right and everyone else got it wrong. Deploy. They're running on. Yeah, they're running on. I mean, we got people hitting pop or pop or stops here. I think we got the strategy right. There's no way Doohan takes us on. Yeah, look, there's no way he takes us again on those tyres. Go on, Kikuchi, you can take him. I 
Uh, eighth is great for her. Yeah, I am legit surprised we didn't get at least one pop. And Lawson's on 23%. I don't know what Poe Cher was thinking. Maybe he just didn't have the tyres. But like, if you're going on hards, push the fuckers. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Good work, Yoko. Well, there's not twenty percent HBA, yeah. Welcome along to race them. See how I ever popped. I've seen the AI pop, yeah. Doesn't happen often. I'd like to see a bit more to be honest. Right. Strategery. Safety car chance. 33. One in three chance for safety car. I feel like we are getting a safety car in this, you know, given how tight this track is. Like, given how tight this grid is with all of the cars... I feel like we're getting a safety car at some point. I just don't know when. Like she can't race that. She can race that comfortably. Could she do medium? Yeah. She could comfortably do that. I think if we're doing that, we start on the mediums. And we probably go medium, medium, soft. So finish on the softs. She just runs a straight race. I mean, Liz could probably scrape a hard mediums, but I'm not convinced it's the right strategy. I think she goes medium. go that any dissent in chat anyone think I'm wrong now is the time to speak up if you think my strategy is wrong now is the time to tell me if you do not you have no Justification for criticizing me at any point. Get out on hards and hope for a fortuitous safety car, but that's not a front runner strategy. Yeah, I think that's the thing is we are front runner. My kind of thinking is we're front runner, so we want to go out in the mediums because a bunch of people start on softs. This is a hard track to overtake on. The longer we hold people up while they're overtaking, we burn their softs. Essentially, the strategy we were doing last race but fell apart because of the wing damage. Um, so we go out on mediums, we hope we force a bunch of people to burn their softs on the first sector, or on the first um, interval, then everyone will be on mediums for the second, which is fine, and then we'll have softs to finish on. That's not how this works, chat operates on the wisdom of hindsight, well obviously. 
I think chat operates on the on the uh, on on the wisdom of telling me my volume levels are off, don't they? Only fifty-eight laps stand between the drivers and the checkered flag here under the lights at the Yas Marina circuit. The Alpha Tauri driver has got a lot of people talking. They've got a fantastic opportunity starting on pole. <laughs> I like I like that we bought the Inters to Abu Dhabi because we were definitely going to need them. I'm not sure we can get her a one second advantage. That Williams is fast. If they start on mediums, yes. If they start on softs, no. If they start on softs, it's more a case of keeping pace. Because obviously this is also when we're running lightest. Or lightest in proportion to the field. And let's see what people started on. Ooh, okay. Okay. So we're either going to have a whole bunch of people who are trying to one-stop this. Gambling they might get a safety park car for a cheeky pit. Or everyone's doing the same strategy we are. Only time will tell. Right, if they're going for a one-stop... They will be pitting late. They'll be looking to pit around lap 25. We are pitting around lap 20. So if people start pitting around lap 20, they're on two stop. Anyone pitting later than that is on a, is trying to do the whole lot. That's my gut feeling anyway. Right, pretty even racing. We might have a chance of holding the lead on this then. Go on, Liz. Sonoda really giving the Williams trouble there. Well done, Sonoda. Damn, Duhan really struggling on the start. Hauger just rinsed him. Oh, Yuki going for it. Yuki's on aggressive. I'm fine with that. I'd rather tail Yuki. Damn, chill is chill. It's fine. You'll get it back. You'll get it back. Just stay close enough for you to Yuki for DRS. That's all you need. Ooh, Yuki's pushing now. We are going to need to push. Basically, we need to not get dropped. I don't mind not taking him on the next lap, but I don't want to get dropped. I said we closed it, it's good.
That's it. Let him drag you round, Liz. Let him drag you round. Tell you what, I'm definitely noticing the graphics card difference. Here we go. Here we go. Turn six. There's the opening. Nice. And we've got a new race leader. Do we drop it down? We've got the tires on him at the moment. When he get back in the next zone, though, yes, he will. But I'm fine with that. Because we've dropped Hauger. So these two doing a bit of a DRS shuffle for the next few laps is actually beneficial to us. Because they will make each other faster. Like if we pull up a decent interval on Hauger. Then we're good. don't think we're going to drop him. We do need to drop our tyres down. Okay, let's go standard tyres for a while. Let's cool them down a bit. Go neutral, go neutral. Kikuchi's done well. She's up in seventh. Like, Behrman's tyres are going to start to fall off. So him battling Hauger is going to slow Hauger down. Sonoda will take us next lap, maybe. We've got a yellow flag here. Yeah, we'll get him back. Like basically, them doing the DRS shuffle is, is good for both drivers at this point. Because it's counteracting the fact that Hauger and Behrman are doing the... Are doing a DRS shuffle behind them. Just need to keep Bearman out of range. Which we should do, I think. Now we might want to think about burning some tires. Yeah. Who's out? There's a yellow flag now. Oh, Mick. What'd you do, Mick? There's a turn there, Mick. Uh, use the, the steering wheel. If you turn the steering wheel when you approach the corner, like your car will go round the corner. Which is quite useful to do, generally. Right, just a bit of a tip. Yeah, we can burn until pit stop at this point. No, I think Sonoda's definitely on the same... I think everyone's on the same strategy as us. Okay, now, Bearman, you've got to come in soon. I 
I think everyone's on the two stop. Yeah, the pits are starting. That's two stop territory. I think we've got time enough to stack, haven't we? Let's just double check. Yeah, we got the interval for it. Go. Go. Aggressive. Aggressive. Sonoda is still out. Sonoda's going one stop. There's no way you stay out this long unless you're going one stop. Sonoda's one stopping this. That's a big call. Now we should be able to take a look here. The opportunity begging to be taken. Don't touch us, Piastri. You stay away. And that's second place now. That's yellow, so we'll go standard for a bit. Hauger's on his soft stint, so the longer we can keep him off, the better. Ooh, VSC is nice. That is a very well-timed VSC for us. Who's out though? Yeah, who? Who? Tell me who. Oh, it's Piastri. Right then, we can take a look now. Now there's the car of Piastri. Flies into that crash. Same corner. That won't do the car any good. That's really nicely timed because Hauger was flying and now he won't fly anywhere near as much. Yeah, that Sonoda is on one stops. I think that's a bad strategy because we're going to get softs for our last bit. If he'd managed to get away from us I think that would have worked, but it didn't. Not least because that got us our fuel back. Now we can absolutely do that. Clear that corner is dangerously unsafe. <laughs> yeah, it's really mysterious how the steering wheel continues to stop working on that corner. Yep. Here we go. So this really comes down to how long we can hold Hagroff for. 
As long as we can stay in touch, we can DRS with him. <laughs> you suck, Helga. <laughs> That was it, Helga. That was your chance. You ain't getting close enough to get me again. You suck. I mean, I can probably afford to do that. Yep. Means we can run slightly long on these tires, which is good. So we're pulling away from Bearman. We won't come out in front of Sonoda, but we will catch him. There goes Bearman. Alga's got a pit soon. And he's got to come out on mediums. Oh, Bearman. What happened? So we see the Ferrari pull in. Pony problems. However, they can't seem to jack the car up. Look, it happens to all of us sometimes. There's no shame in it. No shame in it at all. It happens to all of us sometimes. Right, Hager's caught up, but like, I mean, like, dude, you're on 40% tyres, you got a pit. At this point, I'll take the little DRS boost off of uh, being second to you. Thanks very much. There you go. So Yuki in second. 12 second interval. So we'll come out after him. I want to run two more laps. I want to run long. Especially as we're pushing gaps on him. Kikuchi, you're in. I think we're leaving Richter out for one more. Hit. Softs, go. Should come out fifth. fourth game over game over how goes on mediums maybe that's us in DRS standard now into turn five it's certainly inviting 
and the Alpha Tauri manages to get by. Oh, he's out. Now is that is that Yuki Sonoda? Oh no! Nobody likes to see that. And you can just feel the frustration from the team watching on the monitors. Bonk indeed. Oh, that's race. That's race for us. There's no way that Halger isn't and certain Sonoda aren't carrying damage now. It is tires. Can we get past this car, please? Go on, Kikuchi. Ah, as Liz doing. Go on, Liz. I gotta be carrying damage, surely. You can absolutely deploy. Go on, do some deploy. So this is what happened. Now the Alpha Tauri involved here. It's there for the taking. Go on, Kikuchi. In chat lap times. Oh, I think we can, can't we? Can we see, yeah, last laps. Yeah, Hauga's carrying damage. Sonoda's still lapping okay. But Hauga's slow. And Sonoda's, that's ruined Sonoda's tyres. He's got to make another 11 laps on those. I think if we race straight, we've got both of them. But I'm not even going to push because I don't think we need to push on this yet. I think we'll we'll get him just on straight racing. Yeah, well, look, we're eating two seconds off Hauger a lap. We're in DRS on Hauger now, and Hauger's in DRS on Sonoda. Essentially, the main issue we've got here is everyone is in DRS of each other. Wouldn't surprise me if we take both of them on a DRS. Beep beep, yeah. 
Right, go on, both, both, both. Take them both, take them both. Oh, fuck you, Halga, get out of the way. That's the last thing we need. There's been a crash. Now this was at turn one. Ah, oh, the dreaded steering wheel corner strikes again. Take is one mistake, one momentary lap. Right, I'm getting off view because we'll overtake better. Now the Alpha Tower. Oh, give over. Take a look at the replay. Fuck off, game. Absolutely fuck right off. I'm not having that. That's two rate. That's like two races in a row. The game has screwed us. I'm not having that. All I wanted was one clean race on stream. I'm not going to get P3. Because I've got a pitter. She's got no tyres. Like, she's got no tyres. And I bet you she's got massive damage. Yeah, look, chassis, rear wing, suspension. What are the intervals? Eight laps left. And not front winger. That's four races in a row, the game is screwed. Yeah, it absolutely is. Like, random fucking crashes for no reason. I do like the pit exit on this track. It's quite cool. Like, Sonoda can have a massive crash and still be in the race, and we're fucked. Right, see how I can get in eight laps. It's 
we are burning this ship. Let's see what happened there. Right, let's have a look here as we go into turn eight. They decide to give it a go. Might get sixth. Right, we're down at turn five. The opportunity's there. And the Alpha Tauri manages to get by. I mean, she's ahead of Dragovic, which is good. So we're heading now into turn five. There's the opening. And that puts them in sixth. Oh, uh, Kikuchi got tenth. She might get tenth. Closer look. Now the Alpha Towery involved here. Nicely done. We <laughs> have terminal front wing and chassis. Oh, fuck off! Absolutely fuck off. Not you, Livy. <laughs> How are you? Absolutely not aimed at you, Livy. It's great to see you. Livy, I need you to do some emotes for me. I will hit you up. Um, we need to get a um, Cecilia emote, and we need to... Uh, assuming they do another release of this game, we, uh, we, uh, we, will, uh, we will be doing some F1 absolutely fuck-off emotes. <laughs> we need a bonk emote. We need a bonk emote for when cars crash. Definitely getting a bomb chemo. Yeah, I will probably ping you on Discord rather because I don't really do Twitter these days. But as long as you're okay being pinged on Discord, I hope you're well though. Uh, and yeah, just general shout out. Like, if you need emotes, you want to be talking to Levy because Levy is the best emote artist in the world. I just want, like, I'd have taken one crash. I would have done. We'd have taken the seventh. I'm not taking being murdered by the game. Uh, upside down F1 car or F car. No, okay. I don't know. I quite feel like it should just be like Max Verstappen's face. Right. Nobody fucked me this time. Only 58 laps. I hate doing this as well. Anything could happen. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Right. And away we go. It's a really good race as well. Now, what's really interesting, actually, though, is um, the strategies aren't fixed. I've no, uh, so it's entirely possible that the drivers will be doing different strategies this time. Which I do really like. I like that the game shakes it up that much. So let's have a look at tyres. So everyone started on the same tyres. Hauger almost got bonked there. He had to brake hard. Yeah, Sonoda's really pushing again.
He's really pushing. We'll go attack for a bit. Do some deploy. Fuck you, game. Oh. Now the Alpha Tower involved here. Things look fine here. The brakes couldn't cope. I mean, at least she missed the wall. She becomes the first driver today to miss that wall. Right, let's drop back to aggressive. Key thing here, yeah, there we go, is dropping Doohan. Had your spin. There's something electric interfering with the uh, steering system near that corner, apparently. Uh, Kikuchi will she'll climb back up. She won't get more than 15. It is disappointing, but... With her, we'll just have to watch for an opportunity. Like, if we get lucky on a pit or something, maybe. Hauger's on softs, isn't he? Oh no, Hauger's on mediums as well. I'm gonna drop back to standards for a bit. As long as we stay in touch, we're fine. When Hauger starts to gain too much, we'll flip back to other tyres, but... Thing is, Kikuchi's got a decent car, so she should climb. The gap opens McLaren up. is shit again. I feel almost like we should go back to McLaren and save them again. If we win the drivers and the constructors this year, we're going back to McLaren. And save McLaren again. We'll take Kikuchi with us and we'll save McLaren. McLaren's woes due to the fat contract. No, no, we just made her a well-paid driver. Didn't make her, like, unbelievably well-paid or anything. We just made her proportionally well-paid. Jesus, your tyres. She'll make it, but... So drop her to light for a bit. Right, get in, do your tyres. Go standard. And pit. We just matched her with Max. Exactly, well, all we did was give her the, the exact contract a world champion would get. We gave her the, um, didn't we give her the Damon Hill bonus? A million pound per race. What McLaren had always had wanted um, Damon to race on. Doohan spin, that's good for us. Let's have a look at that. 
Right, we're down at turn five. We. Well, he avoided the bonk. Problem is, he ended up the wrong way round. Right, we can push you slightly. You know what? I'm going to do this for a bit. Well, you got the tires to get away with it. Now we should be able to take a look here. Now the Alpha Towery involved here. The opportunity begging to be taken. Base, if we can get down to two fuel, and I'm happy. That'll do. Halga's gaining. Halga's on softs. Okay, we want to hold off Halga for as long as we can. Basically, we want to stop Halga building up a lead. Because this is his soft stint. Sonoda's gone hards again. So we at least want to be doing the DRS shuffle with um, Helga. Right, we just need him to not pull away. He needs to be able to. He needs to drop us within the next two laps. If he can drop us in the next two laps, he's fine. Also, you could save Ferrari. We could save Ferrari. We could save Ferrari. Ferrari are terrible. Like at this point, he's helping us more than we're helping him. Do need to curve down to standard now, though. We can deploy. Because he's on 54 on his softs and we're on 62 on our mediums. And we've got a soft stint to, to come and he's got a medium stint to come. And he's struggling to pass us. Basically, he's dragging us away from Behrman. Go on, Kikuchi. Nicely done. Like, he's got to pit soon. We're still pulling time up over Sonoda. Like, as long as we are putting time up on Sonoda, we don't need to pit. That we will run long. Kind of getting worried about fuel. We got to pick Kikuchi. Let me go conserve and aggressive. And we get one more lap.
Bring her in now. Let's get... Let's get one more lap out of her. Oh no, we pitted her anyway, that's fine. She's going to float down the back. She doesn't have the... the stuff to get her up the track. Which is sad, but... Fuck off! Game. But this is what happened. Now the Alpha Tauri involved here. It's certainly inviting. Swear to God, this game, man. Up into third. Curse of Piastri. Right. We can go back to balanced. We should have enough fuel to go to distance. I'm less sure on Kikuchi, so let's go conserve. I do you think we need to race straight? I think we'll eat the time up anyway. Are falling back on Helga, but we'll deal with that. She should be fine now, I think. Do some deploy. Right, here we go. Now we can here we go. Can they squeeze by? Now, Sonoda really needs a second here. He needs us not to catch Halga, and he needs a second. And I think we are taking enough time off of Halga that we will catch him. But Halga's pushing right now. But I don't feel the need to push yet. Right, now I'm going to push. Just to get us into DRS range. Right, now we've got him in DRS, he's screwed. Because he's on slightly worse mediums and we're on softs, so we should have him. As long as we don't run out of fuel. Let's drop to a conserve and just let him tow us round. Kikuchi's fine on fuel. Let's take a closer look. The opportunity's there. And we've got a new race. Let's go deploy. Fine on fuel. Now, if we can drop him, brilliant, but I don't think we need to. Damn, Sonoda's suffering. That really was the wrong strategy to go one stop. Oh, come on! Game hates me tonight. We'll take the second. Second's a good result. I'm just annoyed. Still a good result.
That's still a decent result. Also this fucking game, yeah I know. Does the crashing effect driver confidence over season? It affects it within race, um, but you have a general morale level. So between races, your morale is based on your finishing positions. Within races, crashing or whatever lowers your confidence, which increases your chance of further mistakes, basically, until you build it up. The balance isn't quite right. So being overtaken hits your confidence harder than doing an overtake. So I do think the game balance, they need to fix that slightly in the next edition. Well, not the greatest night of F1 manager, but we'll take the second. That was a brilliant performance from the Alpha Tauri driver. Should have been a first though. But Yuki didn't do great and that's good for us. And that worked out for us all right in the constructor as well, so could be worse. Could be worse. And that gives us our new chassis. Our Cardassians are leveling up. So we're on to research now. The underfloor. No major changes, so we might just go general. Right, give me four of them. give it a first side pods three unless no we'll give it a first side pods three there you go and that is our final suspension. So let's just get a general suspension going. Go balanced. And four engineers on that. Driver Dev. Yeah, I mean, look, she's statting up fast. Got two on control for Liz. That's nice. And Carol's doing all right as well. Pit crew. I mean, you... 
I know I say it a lot, pit crew, but just just stay at home and eat pizza. Just stay at home and eat pizza, lads. Well, we go into Miami with a lead in the constructors. And we are holding our lead in the drivers. That's not the end of the world. But also slightly frustrating evening of games. <laughs> 